Today's recipe are herbed lentil balls, which we're gonna serve with a garlic cream, and then my dream dip, which is kind of half guacamole, half hummus, what is not to love. It's the only thing is you just need to soak some cashews beforehand for the garlic cream. So the first thing to do is just start cooking your lentils. So we're using dried green lentils, and you're gonna cook them for kind of 20, 25 minutes until they're tender, and then just leave them to cool. We're gonna just chop our garlic and our onion and cook those up. And you wanna just saute them until they go soft and starting to go translucent. And again, we're just gonna cool those down before we blend it all up. It just helps it cook a little bit easier. And while you're waiting for that, you can start adding the other ingredients. So we're gonna add our parsley, fresh parsley, buckwheat flour. If you don't have buckwheat flour, you could just use a plain flour, gluten-free or normal. Then we're gonna add dried thyme and rosemary and those just add so much flavor. Then we're gonna add our cooked onion and garlic and our drained lentils, some olive oil, salt, and just blend it all up until it's really thick and a nice sort of creamy paste. At this point, you just wanna line a baking tray and um, you're just gonna roll them out um, into little balls on the tray. Okay, so we have our herby lentil balls. They're all ready to go in the oven. And while they bake, I'm gonna make the garlic cream to go alongside them and then our avocado and chickpea dip, which is basically the dream because it's half hummus, half guacamole. It doesn't get better than that. Um, normally we do these with an ice cream scoop to get the kind of perfect roundness and can find it today. So you can just mold them with your hands as well, which makes them a little bit flatter, which works really well. Um, so now I'm gonna pop them in the oven and make my other two dishes. The first thing that I'm gonna make is our garlic cream. So what we need here is our soaked cashews and soaking them just means they blend up so much more easily and they're so much creamier. And we're gonna just have that with some almond milk or oat milk, lemon juice, salt, roasted garlic. Super, super simple. You could add some nutritional yeast as well. Blend, whiz it until it's super creamy and pour that into a bowl. Give your blender a quick rinse and then we're gonna do our half guacamole, half hummus. So first of all, we just want two really nice ripe avocados and these ones are perfection. A drained tin of chickpeas, fresh lemon juice, roasted garlic, make sure the garlic is roasted because it takes away that sharpness. Fresh basil, olive oil, salt and pepper, just pop the lid on and blend it until it's super, super creamy. And this is like a thick green, deliciousness and again just pop that into a bowl and then once our herb lentil balls are ready we're going to take them out of the oven and I'm going to serve them with sweet potato wedges today and fresh rocket or arugula and then dollop all the avocado on, drizzle the garlic and just eat the whole thing and you're going to be so happy. They're super easy, they freeze brilliantly, so perfect to make in big batches. Chuck in your lunch boxes throughout the week. You can do them um, a little bit smaller and use them, for example, as kind of a meatball-y idea with tomato pasta. It's absolutely delicious, as well as in salad -y bits with loads of dips, more like a kind of falafel change. Um, so you'll find um, them in the purple chapter of the cookbook alongside the creamy avocado dip. And again, like with everything, please let me know any feedback if you make them what you think and I'm excited to hear from you. So yum.